Hello everyone. This is Prashant Chaudhary. I welcome you all to my channel Classic Power App. In this video, we'll be discussing about the new feature that is added in the Power App. We have been working on the Power App component. We are not talking about the PSafe component, but it's the Power App component that we create in this Canvas application or in from the Canvas editor. So this editor can take the input can also give you the output but one more thing that is added is the behavior you can also add one more trigger that would be the type of behavior so without any wasting any time i'm just navigating to my screen and show you how you can actually leverage this behavior properties of component in your application so here is my canvas editor so in order to utilize the behavior property in your components you need to just first enable it and for that thing you need to just go to the advanced settings and here's my advanced setting and in the upcoming features it's in the experimental because right now it's in the preview i believe so here you can see enrich component properties fire custom events with the behavior properties okay because whenever you're creating any component you can also set the input parameters as well as the output parameters and this has added the new thing that you can also make the behavior properties in the components okay so we are utilizing just this so we simply make it on okay once we make it on we simply cl close this and we come to the components and here we simply create our component yes uh, did this okay so in my component i'm just adding two labels two circles so it would work like a buttons okay so one circle is this and i'm just making it a color of green and the another one of having the type color of red okay and i'm just decreasing the size actually adjusting let's add the label so that it would be informative let's make it as a name start it, it's my start button okay and simple control c control v and make it as top button now you need one more just down little more down okay and we need one more label and make it as a name as timer starter And increase the size let's make it as 30 and bold okay now we'll simply make the color as just decrease the size okay let's make it as 300 by 300 okay now it looks somewhere like any type of a starter button and make it as a reset not a stop but reset okay yes and give it a good color okay so this is our component now we need to add the behavior properties inside it okay so I'm just adding one behavior property that is a custom behavior properties and here I can see I have the this behavior type okay I'm just making it as, as the name of the part property would be let's say start event and uh, make the data type as here's the data type so i'm just making it as text only 
to just to make it simple and one more for top event okay and again it would be behavior type and the type would be there's a text and simply create this okay so okay so why would where is our things okay huh. so i can see i have a start event and a stop event okay now i want this these properties to be called on any action so on the click of this button or so of this circle i'm just enabling this one so on the on select i'm just passing the name of my component that is component one dot and the name of the property was start event and in closing this okay and same i'm doing for this reset one and its name was stop i guess okay yes now my control is already component is ready now it's the time to use utilize this in the application in the screen so let's come to one screen add one more screen here blank screen okay now i'm just adding that component here okay and i'm adding one timer because i'm assuming that i need a component that would be used to start my timer or reset my timer okay now it looks good now if i click on this component i can see in the advanced setting i have this start event and stop event there i can pass the complete function that i want to be called when this events actually occurred okay so that's how this behavior property actually works so i'm just giving with one example in the start event i'm just trying to do something let's say let's say update correct i'm just trying to set some value and that would value would be uh, let's take str1 just to start my timer and pass that true okay and another one let's say the same update context but here it would be for the reset one so stp stop one and pass at false okay yes so it should be that one and now i'm just copying all both of them and in this top i'm doing the opposite of this here i'll pass the false i'm just making it false and here i'm making it true now what we are actually doing on the whenever this start event occurred we are simply making the str1 as true and stp as false and whenever the stop event would be occurred we are simply making the str1 as false and stp2 as stp1 as true stp is to stop my timer and str to start my timer okay now i'll come to my timer and here i can see i have this start so here i will pass str1 and i have here the reset reset i'll pass stop one okay now if i come and try to play it i can see if i click on this start button my timer has started okay here you can see 3 4 5 and if i click on this reset button it would be reset to zero okay and again here is start and here it reset so that's how we can actually leverage the behavior properties of the power app component in our applications okay so thanks for watching this video everyone if you have any queries please write to me write in the comment section i'll definitely revert to you there only okay and if you if you would like to connect me over my linkedin you can just check my linkedin account i have given the link 
in my channel to my linkedin account i'll definitely be happy to be in contact with you okay so thanks everyone thanks for watching this video thank you